humanity's reach has extended into space. Now that space travel has become more available to the public, the tourist industry is getting ready to construct Earth's first space resort. This is your chance to get in on the ground floor of what is sure to be a highly profitable venture. Hi, I'm Lucas Gerlach, and I'm here to tell you how to play my game, Welcome Station. Welcome Station is a bidding and tile placement game for two to four players ages 12 and up that plays in about 30 minutes. Players seek to make the most money based on individual scoring conditions. After the majority of module cards or visitor meeples are used, the player with the most money wins the game. So, let's get down to the details. Each turn in Welcome Station consists of two phases. The auction phase and the welcome phase. In the auction phase, a number of module cards equal to the number of players is revealed in the market. The first player chooses which one of the modules to go on auction. Each player decides how much they are willing to spend on this module, from zero to five space bucks. They place the bid card with the corresponding amount face down. When all players are ready, they reveal their bid. The player with the highest bid takes the module and borrows this money from the bank, marking down their loans on the individual scorecard. The next module then goes on auction. However, any player who already has a module may no longer bid. The auction continues until only one module remains. The final player receives this module for only one space buck and also becomes the first player in Welcome Station's second phase, the Welcome Phase. In the welcome phase, each player in turn places their module card and one of their visitor meeples. When placing the module card and a visitor, there are two major things to consider. First, how does each type of location profit you? Each location profits you in a way that is different from your competitors. We'll go over this in more detail later. Second, what effect will your module's placement have on the surrounding locations? When a new module is placed, any previously placed location that is adjacent to a matching location on the new module gains a new visitor. This will likely increase the profits of that module's owner. When all players have placed their module and visitor, the welcome phase ends. The game returns to the auction phase unless game end conditions have been met. With each turn, the station grows and interactions become more complex. The game ends when one player is down to five or fewer visitors in their supply, or when there are not enough modules for each player at the beginning of the auction phase. Players then tally their scores on their individual scorecards, scoring for each zone in which they have a visitor. Each scorecard uniquely assigns one of six scoring conditions to each of the six location types. Let's look at an example. In this example, each location that is part of a green park zone scores one point. Count all the green locations in this zone, whether you own them or not. In yellow health zones, each location scores two points. In blue business zones, each visitor scores one point. Count only your visitors in this zone. In pink shop zones, each visitor and each location score one point. In purple hotel zones, Multiply the number of locations by the number of visitors. In orange restaurant zones, each visitor scores three points. After totaling the points earned in each zone, you must subtract the loans you have taken to find the final score. The player who has made the highest profit becomes a financial legend and wins the game. Do you have what it takes to become the leading entrepreneur in humanity's first space resort? Find out in Welcome Station.